Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwam yasa'ala. Koholoyim la. Yehawo. Bahashim yawashai. Bahashim. Recha hachodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Who rule well. And they're by the Spirit. Taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water toward the Aki Menachwaf. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws. The statutes and commandments of Yahweh by Shem Shai to the best of their ability. This is Yachanan the Waf just coming at you with another quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, hey, you got this earthquake over in Russia. And we know that in the last days, the scriptures talks about just before the Lord's coming, there will be earthquakes in diverse places. You just had one in Japan that was um, pretty big. So let me play a little bit of this video. This is from the um, AP Associated Press. Little short, little short get down. So we'll we'll run that one. Don't want to play one too long. They had one right here from the Telegraph as well. Matter of fact, let's play this one from the Telegraph. And this is for educational purposes only. Uh, copyright disclaimer. Let's get down. They probably gonna more than likely show a damn commercial first. The secret to attracting stunning women as an average forty-five-year-old guy is using beef tallow on your face. Most guys get serious. Yeah, fucking incredible. Okay, so they uh, one of the ones where they just got the uh Let's play another one. They got that that's that one where they pretty much got, you know, you got to read the subtitles. It's like your powerful earthquake hits off far east coast of Russia as nearby volcano erupts. So this sets off in the arm of volcano. So, hey, man, you know, scriptures talks about being not ignorant in a, in a great matter or small. And we understand that this is a part of prophecy, man. Any little smidgen, any big part when it comes to prophecy. But hear these things to be awakened, you know. So we, we got to do this work. We don't know if the elect of Israel have already been awakened. But anyway, the famine of the word hasn't come. So we still got to do the work. So let's let's play the video. And you can see, hey, this is a 7.02, I think it is. Like, look at the amazingness of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. The scriptures talks about how um, the Lord's handiwork. See, this is why people are not going to have no excuse as well. People not. Let me let me put this in. Let's let's get this scripture real quick. Right, all one word, Salakia. Yep, um, Psalms 19 and 1 to the chief musician of Psalm of David. The heavens declare the glory of Yahweh and the firmament showeth his handiwork. And, and this, that volcano is just a part of his handiwork. You can look into the skies. You can see the clouds. You can see the, the beauty of, you know, the rays of sun. You know, you can see the moon. You can see the stars. You can see these trees. You can see all these animals. That, that's the Lord's handiwork. You should be able to know that he exists just from the handiwork of uh, just from his work and that's his name too he exists yahweh means he exists the existing one you can't tell me you look at something as beautiful i mean i know that volcano can be vicious but that's a beautiful sight your ass not creating nothing like that and to just say that this popped out of nowhere just on some big bang theory darwin's theory these weirdo ass edomites Coming up with their bullshit ass science. Look, man, the Lord is 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 terrible among men, man. I bet you some of this hot ass ash hit you. <laughs> You'll be praying to somebody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even if it's your fake white Jesus, you know. But you got a lot of people out here they don't believe in the Lord, man. But or look at the firmament behind this 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 um volcano. Look at the skies, man. That that shows this handiwork. Look how beautiful that is. This is how powerful our Lord is, man. This is simple. This is this is something simple. I mean, it's, it's you know, <laughs> not simple on, on a level of us humans, but this is simple to him, right? But let's let's play some more. Okay, 
метров. Видно, что идет дальше теплопад. Запах Гарри. Шоковый процесс будет продолжаться довольно долго. В ближайшие дни стоит ожидать достаточно сильных, отчетливых сотрясений в Петропавловске с интенсивностью до 5 баллов. Какой интенсивный сейсмический процесс идет? Okay, so there you have it, man. I didn't, I didn't mean, uh, I guess get the Russian version, but pretty much they ate them. Hey, motherfuckers are shook. That's pretty much what's going on. Somebody got one live going. Yep, magnitude 7.0 quake strikes off Russia. It says, um, tsunami warning issued. Sure, here's one off Las Vegas. I mean, um, on Los Angeles. Los Angeles is still shaking. See, this serious business, man. We're living in the last age, bro. And people got this playing live, so you're going to get live feeds all through this uh, probably, who knows, for the next week or so. You got um, Belarus saying, you, says Ukraine amassing troops at border amid incursion into Russia. So they're going to be taking advantage of, and you just never know. Because, you know, hey, don't think that Esau don't have the, uh, the ability to create a damn earthquake man the so-called white man that motherfucker is on he's doing everything so he could have actually caused this to set off disruption or set off chaos or whatever whatever in russia while ukraine do their thing you know what i'm saying that might be their way of helping ukraine you just never know man that's why we you know we bring out this scripture being not ignorant in any matter whether great or small second um, matter of fact second corinthians 10 and 11 as well it says uh no no um second corinthians 2 and 11 so like you it says let satan should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices we're not ignorant of the fact that this man he he creates um um storms from rain to fucking um ice storms to a hey, this he, he has the he saw his in control man That's how we know that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. You know, he's able to create weather, man, through his heart machines and shit like that. I don't think this man can't 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 whip up a, a tornado on your ass or a hurricane on you. Energy uh, 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 lasers and shit. You know, Esau has made everything into a weapon for his own use. That's why the scripture says that he was gifted with the sword. That's his that's his that's his number one um gift is the sword, a weapon. He's the ultimate weapon maker. Don't think that this man can't cre can't create a damn earthquake. He has weapons, man. Um um that that does shit like that. Top secret shit, you know. But let's get um that one that I was quoting. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 and verse 15. Be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or small. We're not supposed to be ignorant of any matter. When we see shit like this, we're supposed to be on top of it because it's prophecy. As a matter of fact, let's go into, um, I want to go into the blue letter real quick. Let's go to what Yahweh spoke of. Matthew chapter 24. Let's start at verse 3. And as he said upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world. So the disciples is asking the Lord, what's going to be happening before you come? And Yahweh Shai, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus, his name is Yahweh Shai, which means he's the savior or deliverer in the Paleo Hebrew. And again, the true name of the father is Yahweh, which means he exists or the existing one. And Yahweh Shai answered, and he's not some blonde hair, blue eyed white guy, man. The Lord's name is not Jesus. There was no letter J when the Lord walked the earth. The letter J is only 500 years old. It was in, it was created in 1524 by a, gram, a grammarian named Tresino. Before that, they was kind of interchangeably, interchangeably using it with the, as the letter I. That's why in the Greek, the, in the Greek, they was calling him Iesus or Iesus with the I. And then eventually in the future, They kind of put a little curve underneath the I letter 
and 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 made that small um, lowercase letter J, if you know what I'm talking about, right? The lowercase letter J. Matter of fact, let's let's do this. See right here, you have the letter I. It's got the dot above it, right? Now look at the letter J. It looks almost the same, except it's got the little curve underneath. This is the thing that they changed up. This guy, um, he done in 1524. There was no letter J sound when the Lord walked the earth. He walked the earth 2,000 years ago. Letter J is only 500 years old. Google it. Look it up. Anyway, let's move on. You got to always bring that out because you got new listeners that be listening to these videos and they don't know that. It says, and Yahweh Shai answered and, and said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am a Mashiach. And Mashiach, where they, they have Christ as verbatim, but it's um, Mashiach, or the anointed, the anointed one. I am a Mashiach and shall deceive many. And you got people out here that's deceiving a lot of people. You got a lot of, um, it says also that um, there will be a lot of false prophets, a lot of false teachers in the end days. Verse 6, and ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, and pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Aren't all these things happening? Aren't there wars, rumors of wars? Aren't there nations against nations, and kingdoms against kingdoms? Aren't you hearing about famines, pestilence? Of course, earthquakes. It's been all kinds of earthquakes going on this week. They ain't even mentioned the one in um, Japan no more. Matter of fact, let me see. They never, I guess, you know, these things, they kind of fly by. Let's go to, um, see about that one in Japan, because they was talking about tsunami warnings for that one, too. Yep, this was four days ago. And you're not hearing nothing else, no, six days ago. It was a 7.1 magnitude. Let's check. Let's see this one. Let's see. Because I live in Detroit, I was able to get tuition-free college through the Detroit Promise. I feel very fortunate. Right. setting shit off man you get to setting off pipelines and gas lines and just never know what area to hit in but yeah man i mean it, it, these these things they, these are big earthquakes man these are not your your normal regular size you know because here in the americas you know what i'm saying you'll get those 4.9s those 3.7s 2 point but it's it's multiple um earthquakes that happen on a day-to-day -day basis man probably hundreds of them Let's see. Let's put in earthquakes in um, L.A. or California. Let's see. Well, it was one in California today. Oh, no. Six days ago. See? <laughs> People shook. Look at this motherfucker at his swimming pool. That was four months ago. It was one. It was one yesterday. You can pull up earthquake footage all day long, man. This was five days ago. Let's see. 
Do you know the horse tonic that makes the tool increase in size? Having a small member is not the result of your genetic load or childhood problems. Every damn video. <laughs> this morning, Southern California bracing for aftershock. After an earthquake rattled millions on Monday in and around Los Angeles. <laughs> The 4.4 magnitude quake hitting during lunchtime near South Pasadena, knocking items off walls and giving this woman a scare, grabbing a baby. I got up and ran, ran to my husband. Honey, what happened? Did you feel that? Earthquake is happening. People felt the ground shaking for miles. It was a little bit intense. I wasn't expecting that. On the coast, a camera at the Santa Monica Pier shaking along with this home surveillance video. Getting An ESPN online. anchor paused her show after feeling the jolt Los live Angeles. on air. So we're just going to make sure that our studio lights, everything stays safe. Although no reports of significant damage or injuries, at Pasadena City Hall, the quake causing a pipe to break. Water seen gushing down. Inside, one person rescued after getting trapped in an elevator. And nearby, this school evacuated on the first day of classes. Is there a chance that this is a sign of a bigger quake to come? There's always a chance. Well, we have about a 5% chance that within the next three days, we will see something larger from the same location. It's the second. You see who running shit? The damn the Edomite woman. You see? The scripture says, uh, you know, a woman not supposed to be in those positions, man. Um, the serpent authority over the man. You know, she's, she's got a PhD in damn earthquakes. Get the hell out of here, man. Anyway. Quake to hit the region in the past week. Last Wednesday, a magnitude 5.2 shook Bakersfield, including dozens of aftershocks. The one this week leading to the strongest shaking felt in East L.A. in years. This is a reminder that Los Angeles is earthquake country, but we also are probably the best prepared city. Well, so far there's been a few aftershocks, but nothing significant. Two months ago... There was actually a smaller quake that shook that exact same area here in L.A. It's just a good reminder to all of us in earthquake-prone regions to be prepared and that key saying to stop, cover, and hold on. Craig? Yeah, I'm certainly glad everyone's okay. <laughs> stop, cover, and hold on, man. Hey, look. Uh, the Lord is in control, man. You can stop, cover, and do what the hell you want to do. If the Lord wants you out of here, your ass is out of here. He can open up a, He can open up the earth, man. You know, the, the Scripture talked about the Lord opening up the earth on people. And swallowing their asses up, man. Lord, ain't nothing for the Lord to open up the earth and swallow your ass while you're in an Uber. <laughs> nothing, man. You know? And that was just a, a slight one, man. You know what I'm saying? But this one over in Russia that set off, um, you know, the volcano. Hey, I mean, a, a lot bigger. But let's go into the scriptures on that. This is, I mean, we, well, we just brought it out. I wanted to get one more in the Apocrypha. So yeah, man, hey, we're living in very beautiful, powerful times, man. It, we we about to fuck up out of here. I can't wait. <laughs> you know, can't wait, man. You know, you got a lot of Jake, man. They don't want to leave this place. They want this place to continue. They about to go and vote. You know, motherfuckers about to go and get Halloween outfits and shit. They gonna be ready for Thanksgiving. You know all that little shit like that, man. And in the meanwhile, the Lord is. Is about to destroy this place. And they really thinking that going out to vote in November is going to um, bring their candidate in to, to make them live comfortably. Second address 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. What does it say? Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So hey, we, we, we're at a point of, man. We're, we're at a point of the returning of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, which the world eagerly calls Jesus. And he's coming to get us out of the hands of our enemies. You Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the Lord is about to get us out of the hands of our enemies, the so-called white man, and these other nations that have been uh, uh, just downtrodden the shit out of us for the past five centuries. All the enemies of the Lord in Psalms chapter 83, you so-called white people, you so-called Arabs, you so-called Chinese, you so-called Japanese, all you nations. 
Y'all going to get the business for what you've done to the children of Israel, man. And these right here are just clear indicators that it's going to be soon. It's going to be no fucking 25 years, 50 years. Y'all getting the 100 more years of America having 4th of July's. There ain't going to be no 20 more 4th of July's, man. We know we're, we're praying that the Lord will shorten the time. Get that and um, want the hell out of here. We, 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 we're we not going out to vote. For you crackers to rule over us no longer, man. Well, that's another one too. Matthew 24 and 12 by the Spirit. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. That's another thing that the Lord spoke of. People out here wigging out, man. They offering their families. Road rage is through the roof. Got them uh, 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 robberies, carjackings. People losing their damn minds out here, man. I think uh, it's like you. Yes, Matthew 24 and 22, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved, but the elects, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Praying, man, that we're part of the hopeful elect, man, and that these days will be short, man. Sick of fucking Esau and his whack, wicked ass kingdom, man. Everything is just upside down in this bitch, man. So, but anyway, these are clear indicators. Now, however you want to take it, that's up to you. But we see these as being prophetic. Right? The spirit of prophecy, man. Yeah, I was shy, man. We, we, we got to let the people know what's going on. And, the, and these things right here are, are real significant, man, to, to go with what's going on. <laughs> you can't. Hey, this right here is just as, as important as um the MOTB. This is just as important as on World War Three. Just as important as um, Jacob's Trouble, because it, it gives you a measurement. It gives you a time stamp as to where we are, you know, as far as like on the clock right now. Let's get, um, I'll end out here. Romans 13. Verse 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. So you have to repent to the father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh, Shai. This is for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Because, again, the Lord is about to destroy this place on our behalf. See, we got enemies. The Lord is about to come and get us out of the hands of our enemies, according to um, Luke chapter 1. And it's high time to awake out of sleep. See, he said that once you start to see these things come, come to pass, know that, you know, he's, he's beginning to begin, um, you know, visit this place, man. You already got the wars, rumors of wars. You got the pestilence, you got the famines, you got the earthquakes. You got the uproars of the people in the world. You know, it, it, it is damn near about to be civil war here. As a matter of fact, let's get. um. That was another one that just slipped me. I wanted to get another preset. But anyway, I mean, the point is made, man. It's, it's about time to get the hell out of here, man. What the hell is you rooting for and, and praying for? Uh, uh, the your oppression to to continue. You're running out here voting for for your oppressor. This, <laughs> the scripture says to envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. You going out here voting for Kamala for? Kamala wants you to abort your babies. She don't even want you to exist as a people. She wants you to genocide your damn self, and she's 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 campaigning on it. Joe Biden was campaigning on it. You don't even see him no more. Pretty much you can say she's president right now because you don't even see Joe Biden. Where is he at? Where's Joe at, man? They done gave you the first openly gay Jew that's running as uh, with her as her running mate. And they and they they about to just, you know, can you imagine them being um 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 in office for four years after these four years? They done they done been fucking up these past four years. Are you serious? 
They done turned, they done made every law possible for your children to turn into any damn thing they want to turn into. So you can you imagine another four years of them being in office just putting laws through where your children can just do what they want to do? I'm telling you, man. Hey, we're at the end, man. So hey, it's our time to awake out of sleep, man. Wake the hell up. Repent to the Father Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shai. Because things about to get real nasty. You can see it. That song, you can feel it in the air. I can feel it in the air. <laughs> so lucky, you know, I ain't got no singing skills. But anyway, hey, you can feel it in the air that this place is through. For real, for real, man. We bought out of here, though. And this is beautiful. This is beautiful right here. And we'll see, too, because you just never know, man, with, 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 with what's going on with um, Russia and um, this damn earthquake over here, man. You don't know what's going on, because Esau is, man, this dude is classic fucking chaotic. He's classic chaotic, man. Yeah, this is pretty serious right here. Now, I'm not sure about, I guess we'll see what's going on with the volcano. Not sure how close it is to towns or if they got to evacuate people. But I did see something to the extent of a tsunami. Um, just never know, man. We'll see. Okay, they got another short right here. Let's see this one. О, монитор валяется. Подушку даже. Монитор хоть целый, нет? Make it up, man. Good old Gog. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. With that, Kwame Yashaw from the Bible Ball.